and beat the target without totaling your car or running out of time to receive a mark on your license. Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here and this is Burnout Paradise Remastered running at true 4K on Xbox One X. And to talk about the changes and the enhancements, Tom Morgan. Hi there. So it's definitely been a good week for revisiting old games. We've had a slew of back and pack titles to cover, uh, from Crackdown to Forza Horizon, but obviously those were presented pretty much as is, but up rendered to 4K. Now today we've got the remastered version of Burnout Paradise, which comes with a lot more going on under the hood. Yeah, this is an interesting one from my perspective because those X enhanced titles that we looked at last week, yeah, they look pretty sweet using original Xbox 360 assets. Now, obviously, for a multi platform launch, that's going to rule out any kind of PlayStation release. So, a remaster was required to get the job done here. And my concern going into this one was that, you know, essentially. Uh, Stellar Entertainment, who did the port, would just take the original PC game, which, you know, still holds up pretty well today, and, you know, essentially port that to the consoles and be done with it. But the good news is that there's actually a fair bit more going on, and it does warrant the remastered release, I think. Yeah, the first impressions when booting this on Xbox One X were, wow, true 4K game, but there's also a lot more going on besides that. And if we get up the PC version here in a side-by-side, -side, you can see the anti-aliasing is, uh, you know, a touch on the raw side still. There's a lot of flickering on fences and trees and the like, but there is actually four times EQAA in place next to the eight times MSAA we've got on PC. So maxed out PC settings there, and there's a bunch of other stuff going on as well. Well, you know, this game was originally designed for the 720p generation, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. And uh, Stella has gone in and actually retooled some of the artwork. Now, we're not looking at a revelatory improvement. It's a subtle upgrade, but it does sort of hold up much better on a 4K screen when you actually run them side by side. Yeah, whether that's the tarmac on the floor or building size, there's sort of touch-ups everywhere. I mean, this even goes down to the street lights small differences here and there which really add up to a, a greater whole that supports the 4k standard beautifully that traffic height is quite interesting really because yeah you're never really going to see that except for a couple of seconds in that cutscene intro there but you know it has received attention and i think this sort of permeates throughout the game and it shows already that this is an enhancement over the pc title and one thing i would like to point out the xbox download was about 7.7 .7 gigabytes the pc is 3.3 .3, so obviously that data has got to be accounted for somewhere on top of that we should mention the various shading techniques in place so ambient occlusion was the second thing i noticed on pc we've got the ssao method which uh, kind of adds a nasty artifacting to power lines especially. Uh, we've talked about this before recording this, it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense that there'd be shading behind power lines. It looks wrong basically, but you know again when you look at it side by side you can see that the shading for shadows, ambient occlusion, it's very very different and much improved for the Xbox One X for the new console builds. So again yeah this is a kind of change that I really wanted to see that has been implemented. To continue on the shadow note, there is a upgrade in shadow mapping across the game, so when you sit still and look down you're going to notice a crisper outline. But more notable for me actually playing it was the improvement in shadow filtering. Now I've got a nice clip here which only happens when you stop the car and let the game kind of use its orbital cam to pan around the world. But what it does show is that filtering line, if you see on the PC side, is really near to the camera, so noticeable. And it means you're going to get flickering alias shadows right up until you get really close to it and then it switches over. Whereas Xbox One X follows a more sensible logic for being a 4K title. In that, it's just further afield and it looks much cleaner. So, let's talk about the actual action, because when you're in the thick of it, tons of particles flying about, tons of sparks. And again, upgrades here. Yeah, there's a more effusive burst of particles when you get uh, that bumper to the floor after doing a big stunt jump. It looks great, well it already looked great, but now there's just a, a bigger burst of them. On top of that, and this is admittedly a bit rarer to see, smoke particles when you're doing donuts on the road. Again, there you're gonna see much more of them. So yeah, it's a great upgrade on both fronts. Okay, so let's move on. Let's talk level of detail settings. 
What's going on here? Not a great deal, sadly. I would say in terms of the building LOD range, you're getting pretty much the same deal on Xbox One X as you did back in the day. Now, geometry complexity is on par between the two from what I can see. The only small discrepancy really is that the shading on trees kind of pops in on the PC version, where on the Xbox One X version, it's already kind of shaded. You're gonna notice pop in, but it is about the same as what you had on PC at max. One thing that I am noticing, which is fairly blatant here, is the ground textures. You know, there's motion blur on the PC side. It seems to have been taken out on Xbox One X. Personally, I think in terms of the kind of crisp 4K-ness of it, the image is slightly compromised with it on, but at the same time, I'd kind of like the option to choose. The fact is, at 60 frames per second, there's not much to hide. I would have liked to have the option, but it's more of an effect that I see on 30 FPS games to smooth uh, motion between frames, and I like the usage of it in those type of titles. But here, maybe at 60 frames per second, not so necessary and it looks great as a result. There's no smoothing over these great textures which have added. Before we move on, uh, one thing uh, which I did note was adaptive HDR when you emerge from tunnels. Yeah, it's meant to simulate the changing in exposure levels as you enter and leave tunnels. A very subtle effect, but it's been added to Xbox One X. You can see it here in this shot. Yeah, nice touch. Not much more to say on that, but all these touches add up to a pretty wholesome deal when it comes to the remastered package. Okay, so we've been kind of concentrating on the Xbox One X version. This is a 4K video after all. However, obviously, it is available on the base Xbox One as well. Same code. So are there any enhancements beyond the resolution? The straight answer is no. You've got the resolution divide, 1080p versus 4K, but actually, when you look close, the filtering cascades, the effects, even down to the particle effects, it's all very like for like. So yeah, what you're getting on base X plus one, you're not missing out. Good stuff, so let's move on to performance then, and we're gonna stack up the Xbox One X at 4K versus the base unit at 1080p, and well, this is a burnout game. 60 frames per second action is its signature. Does the remaster deliver? It has absolutely nailed it for 99% of the gameplay. So whether that's base Xbox One or X, you're pretty much getting 60 across the board, fully V-synced. It looks beautiful, plays beautifully. And now there is one discrepancy, which is this area to the northwest of the map. Now on a base Xbox One, you're not gonna have any problems at all. It's all a straight 60 FPS here as we kind of do donuts on this spot. But weirdly, when we move to Xbox One X, you're gonna see suddenly drops to 50 FPS, which just weren't there on the base console. And uh, not much to really explain it. At first I thought it might be the uh, smoke particle effect, but even at spots where you're not really seeing it, it's still kind of dropping. So a very strange uh, anomaly there, but it wouldn't be fair to say it's representative of the game at large. You're getting a 60 FPS line everywhere else. It's just this spot from what I found. Yeah, I mean, overall, I'm quite impressed with this. I mean, that small issue aside, it holds up really well. One thing I was kind of curious to check out was what kind of PC hardware it would take to run this game at 4K60. Now, I started off with the Radeon RX 580, which is, you know, six teraflops or thereabouts, broadly equivalent to what you would think the Xbox One X GPU is capable of. I suspect a driver issue there. Four times MSAA, I was still dropping frames beneath 60. GTX 1060, uh, the kind of NVIDIA equivalent, much more stable, but was dropping frames in some of those intense crash scenes. Whereas again, Xbox One X sort of holds up pretty well there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very curious because even the crashes in this version are completely locked at 60. There's barely a hiccup here and there. So the whole simulation running completely smoothly on console. Yeah, I mean, that is just fantastic. Everything sorted on console, that's what we want to see. Plus, you've got all of those enhancements on top. I would call this a success overall, though there are a few small oddities here and there. For starters, you know it doesn't give the best impression when you first boot the game up. You've had kind of these 720p pre-rendered sequences, which are very compressed. But obviously, once you get into the gameplay, that's pretty much the last you see of it. And also there's these odd frame pacing micro stutters when you see the victory screen and the camera's kind of jutting about a bit. But obviously it doesn't affect gameplay. Besides that, 
This has really held up beautifully and I'm glad to see it revived. So there are still some question marks. Obviously we're checking out this, the Xbox version on EA Access. There's no equivalent for Sony platforms there. So we haven't yet seen the PlayStation 4 version. Now, based on what the Xbox One is doing, the standard model, I can't foresee any issues with the standard PlayStation 4 delivering the same experience, if not slightly enhanced in some way, who knows? But the Pro, now that isn't quite as capable as the Xbox One X, so I'm gonna be curious about the 4K credentials there. Anyway, that'll do for now. Thanks for joining me, Rich. No problem at all. Now, as ever, this 4K video is uploaded to our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net, so if you want to see the original source file to this, you can grab it there. But if you just like the YouTube video, feel free to like or subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.